Hey, what's happening, folks? Happy Wednesday. Uh, welcome to the studentonjustice.org live stream. Uh, my name is Alan Collins. I'm the founder of studentonjustice.org. Uh, welcome. If you are new to the group, what took you so long? We're glad that you came. We're glad that you found us. Uh, we are the, world, the country's oldest, largest, and in many ways, only true grassroots group fighting for student loan justice. Uh, for the first 16 years of our existence, that meant very moderately pushing for the return of standard bankruptcy protections to student loans. Uh, today, however, I am here to tell you that this lending system has catastrophically failed. And uh, over a year ago, we started a petition calling on the president to cancel student loans by executive order. This is something that can be done without adding one dime to the national debt without needing even one penny to be drawn from the treasury. So, uh, what's going on? Man, there is so much going on right now, folks. Uh, um, I'm going to try and keep it fairly brief tonight. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw them out. And if I can see them, I will certainly uh, read them and respond to them uh, here live. Um, so... Right now, um, the Congress is coming back in session for the month of September. They were off for the August break. Um, they will be back, like, I think starting today or, yeah, I think starting today, actually. Um, that's a good thing. Uh, we've got a couple key key confirmations that have to happen. Well, actually, one key confirmation. That's James Caval, Department of Education. Um, but most importantly, we have a great bill in the Senate, S-2598, which would return bankruptcy protections to student loans. So nobody wants to file for bankruptcy. It's a terrible thing to have to do. But the Founding Fathers knew, and we now here today know, that removing bankruptcy is a terrible thing to do. They, it was done uniquely for student loans. So student loans are the only kind of loans in this country that are uniquely restricted to the point of Essentially, they're non-existent for student loans. Um, and that's a big deal. It's very important. Um, so finally, we have a great bill that will return that very important constitutionally enshrined protection to the borrowers. But, you know, as I said, this lending system has failed. We continue to fight for loan cancellation. And towards to, to that end, here's the biggest thing that we're doing right now and probably for the next week or two. We are pushing all Republican governors, but particularly Republican governors in states where student loan debt exceeds their entire state budget, to join us in calling on the president to cancel all federally owned student loans and also return bankruptcy protections to all student loans, period, whether they're federally owned or not. Um, that is a big deal, folks. We've been doing this for 16 years now, and I can tell you that the critical path to make this whole thing happen starts with getting our bankruptcy rights back. Uh, and, uh, uh, um, wait, let me back up for a minute. The, the critical path to getting these loans gone, yes, we have to get bankruptcy protections back. There's no doubt. In fact, we probably won't see meaningful loan cancellation until bankruptcy protections are returned. But there is another path. It's a, it's a higher risk. I guess it's less likely to happen, but it will make everything way easier and might even allow us to bypass all of the rigmarole involved in legislation, et cetera, et cetera. If we can get even one Republican governor to join us in calling on the president to cancel student loans, I think it would create a groundswell across conservative America that would grow and build and ultimately cause this entire lending system to go away. I mean, believe me, if one Republican governor, and you know, let's let's take Brian Kemp in Georgia as an uh, as an example. So. Georgia's entire state budget, right? Their total annual state budget, all the money that the state spends in a year, $48 billion. That's a lot of money. That's huge money. Um, if you look at Georgia's budget, even 10 years ago, it was probably like not even 15 billion or something. So, so state budgets have screamed upwards. $48 billion is Georgia's entire total state budget. 
student loan debt in Georgia is $82 billion. That's 170% of the state budget. So Brian Kemp has absolutely every reason to join us in calling on the president to cancel these loans. And if he were to do that, then more than likely a handful of other Republican governors in states like Florida, Missouri, um, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Alabama, Indiana, New Hampshire, uh, South Dakota, um, and a few others that I'm not thinking of, would probably be strongly inclined to make the very same call. And I can tell you, that would change everything for us. That would virtually guarantee that the entire lending system would be canceled. The loans would be canceled, the lending system would be ended, and a far more fair, far more, let's say, state-friendly far cheaper or less expensive way to fund higher education in this country would have to be come up with. So that is worth doing. So right now we're asking everybody who lives in the states that I just mentioned to try and get a meeting with the governor's office. Ideally, we'd love to have a meeting with the governor himself, but, you know, realistically... Uh, if we could get a meeting with his chief of staff, that would also be really good. Um, but any meeting with whatever staff they deem to be appropriate is fine. Uh, it, it, if you, as a person who lives in that state, can make that happen, you, you will be pulling way more than your weight in this battle. We need you on this. You know, it's really hard for a guy like me, who has a Washington, D.C. phone number, I live in Wisconsin... You know, it's kind of tough for me to get into good conversations with governor's offices, but, but you, as a constituent, uh, and as somebody who is sort of the ambassador of this very important information, because these governors, they don't even know that their states owe more than their state budget in student loan debt. They're just not aware of that. So this is important information that we are providing to them. Um, I think we can make a very strong case. In fact, I think we can get at least a couple of governors to stand up and do this. And once a couple stand up, many more will stand up. And at that point, guys, that's game over. We win. So I don't want to put any pressure on you, but the stakes on this are very high. This is very much worth your passionate effort. I don't mean just send an email and say, hey, please, can you meet with us? I mean, put your back into it. I mean, you make it your mission to accomplish that. You make it your mission to get us into a phone conference with the governor, the governor's staff. Um, I, we, we, I, can do almost all of the talking. You don't have to say much at all if you don't want to. Um, we've got this argument nailed. We can sit down with anyone... The more conservative, the better. You know, we've got, we've got a very conservative argument to make here. Um, so, yeah, absolutely, we can do all of the talking. But you've got to set it up, man. Yeah, I mean, you've got, to, you've got to be the driving force that sets the whole thing up and makes it happen. So, um, please make that happen. I don't know what more I can say here. Uh, it's so important. Um so we've got a lot of balls in the air, juggling a lot of balls, a lot of things are going on. But I'm telling you, that thing with the governors is probably the easiest, quickest, hardest, but at the same time, the um, the quickest. Uh, I said easiest and then hardest. Well, it's hard in that it requires a lot, a significant amount of effort on your part. But it is truly the quickest, most expedient, let's say, path to getting these loans canceled. This is a conservative issue. They are being tricked onto the wrong side of this issue. And when they realize that, they will come to the very same conclusion that I came to. I know conservative, but this is a very conservative argument that we're making. So, um, so yeah, make that happen. You know, I see that we have some comments. Yeah, Deanna, you're absolutely right. I can't see him on my stupid Facebook for some reason. Um, but yeah, so, so, um, regarding your comment, 
uh, Deanna. Um, yeah, I mean, the most the most realistic way uh, this is going to happen is first with the return of bankruptcy protections. And the, the reasoning there is that if bankruptcy protections are returned at long last, and they must be returned, this lending system is wholly illegitimate until they are returned, but returning them will probably cause a wave of filings in the tens of millions of people. Now, in any given calendar year, less than a million people file for bankruptcy for any reason. So this would overwhelm the courts to the point of seizure. And I don't think um, Joe Biden or any president wants to be the president that threw tens of millions of his citizens into bankruptcy. I don't, I don't think, I mean, nobody really benefits from that. You know, it doesn't stimulate the economy hugely. Um, it just turns out to be a pretty unattractive way to go. It probably doesn't make people happy, you know, giving somebody back the right to do something as terrible as file for bankruptcy. They're not going to be like popping champagne corks and, you know, uh, volunteering for your campaign, etc. They're not going to be super thrilled. Canceling the loans, however, just gets rid of a lending system that should have been thrown on the scrap heap of history many years ago, stimulates the economy greatly, and would very strongly endear um, the voters to that president. So, And to that governor, by the way. So, yeah, guys, we got a huge, very strong argument to make. Um, bankruptcy is a, a, probably a necessary precondition um, we know we've got to fight for it and hard, and we are. Um, but, you know, we could really throw a Hail Mary and really pull a rabbit out of a hat if we can get, as I said, even one or two Republican governors to join us in making this call. You could be the one person that makes that happen, by the way. So you could save the world. You could. And uh, we would give you full credit here. You know, we will shout your name from the rooftops if you're the person that makes that happen. So, um so, let's see what else. yeah, I'm sorry I can't respond to the comments here very well, guys, but, um, you know, I think I've said what I have to say. Got to fight for bankruptcy. Got to get a governor on the hook. We've got to get meetings with these Republican governors. So if you live in Texas or Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Indiana, uh, Missouri, uh, Alabama, um, uh, New Hampshire, South Dakota, uh, did I say Tennessee? Um... Arizona would work, actually. Um, they don't, they're not quite underwater, but they're very close. Um, it would help tremendously. So put your back into it. And whether you're a Democrat or Republican or neither, that does not matter. You know, if you hate, if you, if you hate your Republican governor, frankly, maybe that's all the more reason to push him. Because if he doesn't do what we want, we can expose him very publicly for turning his back and abandoning, um, millions of citizens more than likely in his state and we will make him pay a price if he does what he what we want well then good maybe you can hate him a bit less but i think that's a fair price to pay so if you hate your governor that's all the more reason to push him i hope what i just i hope that makes sense um so anyways all right guys i've said what i had to say um let's make this week count i know it's half over already um, let's blow up the petition on Twitter. In fact, if you could like us on, or follow us on Twitter, um, student loan J-U-S J number one, that would be very helpful. I hate Twitter. Most people hate Twitter, but Twitter's kind of useful, I hate to say. So, so please do that. Um, follow us and retweet all of our recent tweets. Um, this, this group here, Facebook, is where the, most of the action is, but Twitter is increasingly increasingly relevant to our activities so um so please do that check back frequently as i said things are happening very fast right now congress is back in session so buckle up and let's make this thing happen um fortune history favors the bold or fortune favors the bold let's say um so get on it this is your fight to fight these are your loans this is your problem uh many hands make heavy light work heavy work light as they say so okay guys um please just make it happen uh last thing i will say is if you can donate at the moment that would be super good we're kind of hoping to raise about 40 or 60 bucks 
for some last minute monthly expenses that came in. So if you go to the website, it's toolongjustice.org. Um, hugely appreciated. Uh, and with that, I will simply say, good luck. Make it happen. Godspeed. God bless everybody.